Welcome back to the Screen Savers. I'm Leo Laporte. Kate's in the chat room. Get on in there. Get on in there and talk to Kate. Uh, Steve Gibson joins us now. Uh, once again, Steve is, uh, boy, he's been around for uh, at least a, a decade. As a hard drive expert, he's uh, going to share the latest news and uh, a free solution for the click of death right now. Welcome, Steve. Author of Spinrite. Glad to be back. And Spinrite is uh, still out there. 5.0. Yeah, and I yeah. recommend everybody who has a hard drive get a Keeps copy spinning. of Spinrite. Spinrite. Can you buy it uh, off your website? Uh, all the information is there that you need, and, but, how to buy it. but we're still not doing the online purchasing things. Right. People are a little twitchy about that. So, so you call during business hours, but you can download it instantly after buying it. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's so you can get it immediately. Okay. Called immediate gratification. Spinrite is is a kind of Norton Disc Doctor writ large. I mean, it's the ultimate disc doctor program. And, and you know, I've, it takes a while to run it the full mode. And but I've lately started to do that. Every few months, I'll run it on my computers. People really who do great. say that all their friends have problems, but they don't. Yeah, so, it really helps. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate it. Now, click of death. That's where we first started talking to you. This right. is a problem that happens to zip disks. Uh, zip disks die an ugly death. Here's a zip disk. Uh, from time to time. How often does this happen? How, how common is the click of death? I don't think we know the truth. iOmega, of course, wants to minimize it, so they're saying 1% of the time. Well, that's still a lot, 1 in 100. Uh, and they've now got a mil what, 100 million of these are out there now. So that's a million dead uh, discs yeah. at minimum. Yeah. And you think it's a larger number? Uh, I don't know. All right. We have a, a disc that you have... Um, Modified in some way to make the clicking sound. I just put it in a bad drive because I, if you have a if you have a, a click of death drive, when I talked to you last, we knew that the problem was drives were miswriting onto the discs. We didn't know why, and now I know why. Oh, well, maybe before we make the click of death sound, you should explain that. In fact, you have a damaged disc here that we can show people. So, what is the mechanism of click of death? Um, there are two things that happen. One is that. Every time the heads are loaded into the cartridge, mm -hmm. on some drives, they nick the disk itself. Now, this, this is, is a bad to be, case. <laughs> this is a large nick. More than a nick. That's a whole strip of mylar that was stripped off there. Yeah, right? actually, this is, uh, in, in the first show, you referred to these as typhoid marys. Yeah. And in fact, this disk, the, the cartridge killed three drives, one after the other. After it didn't work the first time, he took it out, he stuck it into wow. a different one, and it takes the heads right off of, it's, of the it's, drive. It's every user's nightmare. So the mechanism here was he had one bad drive, stu stuck this good disc into it. Sliced it. Sliced off this thing. And so then he had this little notch here. And that beheaded the drive. It literally pulled the, he the read-write heads off of the Two more drives. Tool. And then he put it into another drive right. and a third drive. It killed them all. So this notch hits the head and, and bends it, pulls it off. It, it uh, actually shears it off. It pulls the heads off. And then they're like hanging by their wires. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and then you can see all the scoring. Well, I yeah, don't know if you can see, it, camera, you can see it on but, TV, but you, yeah, yeah, you sure can. Look at that. It's scratched like crazy all the way around here. And that's from that de detached head. Now, the second thing that happens, which, I mean, this is an extreme case. And this is, I think it's very rare. But we've got lots of people that, you know, we know that it happens to because they you know, got talk this. to us. We got at least one. What's happening in most cases, though, is some sort of lubrication failure mm -hmm. in the in the head uh, moving mechanism itself the the bottom of each of these discs you know you can see this round hole well the, when, when you when you put the disc in the drive this round hole mounts with the with a, a mounting pin we can show you right here we have one we can take out okay. yeah well in fact if you look at the bottom of it you know anyone who has a zip cartridge will see this the there's a pin that this mates with that it goes it, in this. Whoops! It goes in that hole there. It, gives yeah. it, gives it puts it in the hole exactly, okay. and that gives it rough centering. Right. But of course, the pin has to be smaller than the hole. Right. Uh, in so order, it's going to wobble so, a little. So what happens? Exactly. What right. happens is you're going to be a little bit off center. Right. Well, there's a thing called track following that that the, these drives have, where the heads have to follow the tracks, mm -hmm. because if the disc is off center, the tracks are going to be c not exactly concentric. They're going to be wobbling around. Mm -hmm. What happens is there's a lubrication failure that causes the click death so where the head is not able to accurately track this wobbling if it can't slide on this very easily exactly it catches it, it lags it lags a little bit behind yeah. Yeah. and so it's writing the data off of the track it's okay. not writing it correctly okay. one of the, the easiest tips for people if if they have a problem like this just eject the disc and put it in again you'll get a different alignment the next time. And it may fix it. And it may fix it. And if that's wow. happening to you, A, you know you've got a bad drive, because that should never happen. Okay. I mean, uh, 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 the these, bulk of zip drives have no problem. Are these drives coming out of the factory bad, or is this a, a, a wear problem? They're coming out of the factory bad. Okay. I've got reports three weeks after buying a new one, they're having clicked down. What can people do? First of all, they'll hear this kind of 
seeking thing or this clicking, they, they should immediately eject and reinsert. Right. And but they then they know they have a bad drive. Exactly. So what you want to do is you want to immediately, if you can get a, a good insertion, yeah. then copy your data. Copy your data off the drive. Move it on your hard drive. Should we throw the disk now away? Um, the disk itself turns out not to be the problem, okay. unless the edges are getting frayed. And iOmega is aware of this problem of the of the edges getting frayed. We when know you, that. We have a warning from iOmega. Does this come with a zip drive? What, no. What happens is if a user gets iOmega to replace their drive, when they send you back a refurbished drive, you get this notice that tells you how to like open the disk up. Look for any cuts, rough edges, wrinkles, or missing pieces. Like the missing if you pieces. notice any media damage, please call to arrange for an exchange. Exactly. So iOmega knows that maybe it was media that had gotten frayed that killed the drive that you sent back right. to them to be replaced. Now you've written a program called Trouble in Paradise. Right. And by the way, the reason you call it Trouble in Paradise is because we all love our zip drives. Yeah. And we love them and we want to keep using them. It is paradise. It's an amazing thing. Although at this point I have to question I, uh, iOmega's choice of flexible media instead of rigid media like Winchester Media. Well, but to get the price down. That's how come it's so cheap. Yeah. Okay. Because a Winchester's, a hard drive doesn't have this problem. This no. is because it's this is because it's floppy, right. floppy media. Right. All right. So you've written this program, Trouble in Paradise. Now this is the new version. This is Trouble in Paradise 2.0, and this will detect problems before they occur. Yes. Yes. What it's able to do, I've, I've version 2.0 of Trouble in Paradise is so sensitive that it will show you when even a good drive is having to use error correction in order to read your disk. And that means now you're starting to have some problems. Yeah. Exactly. Pro trouble is on the way. The idea is that if you use Trouble in Paradise from mm -hmm. time to time, what you'll, you'll, you'll sort of come to know what's expected of a good drive and your disks. And so if you see a change in what, in, in what TIP reports, then um, it's a good time to start Should I, Now, this is one that has click of death on it. Yep, that's got click But it's not death. a bad disk, it just clicks. It's a great disk. It was, it was used in a bad drive, and that, got and that hurt the disk. So I'm going to put it in here and, and press to begin. Yep. Okay, and this is going to do what? It's going to test the drive? Should everybody who has a zip drive be using this utility? It's free. Okay, it's available at grc.com. Right. We do thank uh, Steve for making it available for free. And see, That's we've great. got here already found three So now what errors. do I do? I see these errors. What do I do? I throw this disk out? Do I get a new drive? What, what, uh, how do I react um, to this? All drives are going to have, all, all systems are going to have some soft errors. The hard errors are ones to be much more concerned about. That's damaged about. media um, that can never be recovered? That represents something Thing that couldn't absolutely could not be read by the drive. Okay. So so soft errors are not much concern. Firm is sort formatting, of in the middle. Formatting will fix the soft error. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, but not formatting in a bad drive. So the, okay. the idea is this is this is designed to show you. It's clicking. There's a click. Yep. Okay. Um, this is designed to give you an early warning about problems that are developing in your drive. And the, the, the problem is, unless you're a mechanical engineer and you can open the case up and, and, and re-lubricate it, yeah. um, you need to send it back to iOmega. Now, will they take it back? That's what they said. Um, people are having mixed success in getting iOmega to take drives back. There's a one-year warranty, but because iOmega has been, you know, pretty responsible about acknowledging this they will accept they say like okay one time only will and we'll re lubricate will will yeah. well we'll give you a new drive okay. and who knows what they do with the old one grc.com is the place to get this highly recommended this says zip and jazz drive but really it's mostly a zip problem Z it's, it's largely a zip problem. problem now jazz drives have some sort of a problem too you know where they where they stop failing but not nearly as okay. much as a zip drive and you can hear the clicking if I, if i hear clicking should I just freak, or what should I do? You should be worried. Okay, and get this program. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Steve Gibson, always great to have you. We'll have you back. There's never enough time. <laughs> Steve is the author of Spinrite, of course, Trouble in Paradise, and he's written a wonderful article for us. Uh, it's on our webpage all about this. I know there's much more you'd like to know, and you can find that at zdtv.com slash the screensavers.